FTV, that was a really disappointing game. Nil, nil. One of the most boringest games I've seen down here for a long time. Oh, I mean, yeah. and on top of that, what looked like a quite a bad injury to Danny Welbeck. I fear that that's the last game he's going to play for Arsenal. You reckon? Yeah, I've seen the pictures, sadly, and um, it's not nice. Mm. And to be honest with you, the result is insignificant in relation to that. And, you know, all I can do is just send my best wishes to Danny Welbeck. Do you reckon some of the players' performances sort of dropped after that? Possibly. Mm. Um, you only have to look at the team spirit, how close the players are with each other. Guendouzi looked, you know, visibly mm. shaken. And um, we've seen it before. Eduardo, Ramsey, it has an effect. Mm. It does have an effect. And it was such a freak incident as well. Mm. Um, and like I said, the pitches are not nice. And yeah, that's, that, mm. that's bad. And obviously his contract's finishing at the end of the season. So that will possibly be the last time. I hope it isn't. It's come at the worst time for him because yeah. he's actually been playing really well, hasn't yeah. he, this season? Yeah, he, he has. He's, mm. you know, he's been knocking on the door. And I said to you, he's never going to be... And a Bamiang or a Lacazette. He's never going to be that person who takes us mm. to the next level. But he's a great squad player. And we spoke only a few weeks ago and we said, and you asked me whether I'd give him a new contract. And I said, yes. Mm. And I said, because he offers something there. And he's, you know, he's, he's been producing. He's been scoring goals. Mm. And it's so, you know, it's horrible to see, man. And maybe it might force our hand in the transfer market now as well. Yeah. Um, or we're going to call Reese Nelson back. Because I know we've got that option. Mm. We haven't sent him there for a season-long loan. So, yeah, because we've only got Lacazette and Aubameyang as our mm. main guys now. Because um, you can't really rely on Nketiah. He's still a kid. He's still learning. So, mm. I feel so sorry for him. He's just yeah. about to come on. And then, then Lichsteiner gets injured and then he has to yeah. um, put his top back on again and, and, and didn't get a chance to come on here to yeah. with mate Lenars. And mm. there wasn't really none of those sort of fringe players tonight that... A kicking the door down and saying mm. to the manager, yo, pick me on Sunday, was it? No, no, nobody. It's tough. It is tough for them as well because you look at a lot of the players that are missing, so they haven't got that quality around them. So it's really tough. Um, but all they can do is just take their chances when they get in the first team. Mm. We missed the likes of Urzu and that. You can see how much. We missed the likes of Torreira. I know he never come on, he was on the bench and what, but that... What's the mm. word? Is yeah, mm. we were just missing that tonight. Everything just felt flat, and it got even more flat after the incident mm. with Welbeck. So you kind of maybe have to look at that as a mm. pointer as to why. Um, but like I said, the result is insignificant to you know in comparison. Um, I think we're through. I don't yeah. think we've won the group yet, but we we're through. Won the group yet, but I no. think we're through. Yeah. But we're through. Two games to spare. So mm. you know. This is the worst part of the Europa, the groups. Once mm. we get past that, then it gets a little bit more exciting. So, um, I hope so after tonight. Yeah, for, yeah, I know, I know. Now I know how Man United fans feel. But it's just, you know, I, I'm just looking at it and I'm just thinking, you know, we've got bigger things to worry about right now. So that's nice that we can put it to the back burner and say, let's concentrate on bigger things. We've got a few big games coming up, international break. Let's get Wolves out of the way. 15 unbeaten as well. Mm. Let's remember that. Let's try and make it 16 on Sunday, go to the international break. Um, and then we come back, got Spurs twice in December, Manchester United, big test coming up. So we move on, we move on. Let's go to Wolves on Sunday.